so I figured I'd make a video to help some people who are installing an LSXR 102 throttle body and intake onto an LS1 uh, third gen 5.7 aluminum blocks what I got I couldn't find anything online that that helped us or what I could find was pretty slim so here's what I did if it helps anybody so let's take a look here so this is the motor now it is not in its full final form so if there's some jankness like no spacers there. I'll explain why. But to get to the business first, so you get all excited. You buy the LSXR 102. You say, "Oh, big horsepower!" You buy this puppy here, the 102 uh, throttle body. Oh, big horsepower, right? And you just gonna set it on your LS1 because that's what they say it fits, right? Well, not really. So I guess they made this thing to spread across a bunch of different motors and water pumps and fit a bunch of different things. So you have to modify a few things. And here's what you got to do. So there's these, when you take everything off and you strip it down, take, I took the stock LS1 intake manifold off. You'll have these steam pipes right here. These pipes. These guys, right? And these go underneath the intake manifold and they help with air pockets. So air pockets don't lock up your coolant. It's a terrible use of the word, but air bubbles in the coolant line, they usually go at the highest part of the motor. So my motor has a slight slant in it. So air bubbles t will tend to be up here at the top of the cylinder heads, excuse me, there and that can block your flow of coolant and starve your motor of that cooling it down or cooling down itself. Words are tough. So I went ahead and tried to put it on with the stock steam pipes. It does not fit. The stock intake manifold has a gap like this that fits the stock steam pipes underneath it. Sets on top pretty nice. But the LSXR 102 this gap is like that. So that creates an issue. So what you have to do is you have to get aftermarket steam pipes and there's a couple ways you can do it. So if your motor is angled, mine is slightly upward in the front rather than the rear here, you can, you're supposed to be able to get away with just steam pumps in the front. There's a couple LS truck motors that just have one set or one loop here that connects the front highest two or the rear higher two I believe it's actually the rear in the truck motors but that'll get your air bubbles out air rises to the top and so on but if you're going to beat on the motor if it's a track car like this drift car whatever you have it you're beating on the thing it's recommended to have all four corners connected just like this the stock doggy in here there's there's four there's four little corners in. so what I did is I went online did a whole bunch of research, everything doesn't fit this intake manifold, this platform. They specifically say it will not fit in the description. When you look up steam pipes, fast LSXR, it'll say it'll fit the, the other models, but not the 102. So what I did is I went on eBay, checked out the eBay listings, and I came across this company. Please focus. This company here. That's terrible. This company. I will link it here as well. And they had a 30 day return policy, so I figured it wasn't too big of a deal. And it links all four corners up, both rear and the front. And it has these nice little fittings, like so. And it actually connects to your radiator, like it should with this little flexible piece of tubing that looks like it's braided. So, pretty neat stuff. So then that fits. The next step is actually getting the damn thing on the, the block here. So when you put it on, and you gotta make sure it's sit flush, because if there's any little wobble, that's wrong. 
You want to make sure that you use fast supply button head uh, screws that come with the kit. Put those in, put it on a bunch of test fitting, make sure it does not wobble back and forth. And when you put it on, if you have a stock LS1 water pump like this one here, you will see that it contacts in a couple spots. And I'll, sh I'll cut to a different couple different shots of where it's going to contact. But I had to dremel down the intake manifold. So a spot right in here, the bottom of this lip actually, plastic is extrudes down below the throttle body here. So I dremeled that flat, took the plastic off, and then test fit it still didn't work. So what you got to do next is use a flapper wheel, a grinding disc, a cutter, whatever you, whatever works, and cut up your water pump here. You can see how it's shaved down. I'll cut to a few different shots of what it looks like after it's done. You can take off a whole lot of material, oddly enough, and you can get away with it. Or you can get different LS water pumps. I believe an LS2 water pump clears all um, from the factory. You can bolt that puppy on, but if you got one of these, it's not going to hurt by shaving some stuff down because worst case you ruin it, you get the right one anyway. Oh, by the way, for LS1 applications here, at least for me, intake manifold comes with these little dowel guys. Make sure that your heads have inserts where these can go because they stick out like that. They'll scratch the hell out of your heads if you don't have the little holes and this dowel sticking out in your fast intake. So you don't necessarily need these. Trick flow heads do not have the, the holes or the inserts, whatever they are. So pop these right out, a couple pair of uh, some vice grips, pull them right out nice and easy. Tip just for you because otherwise it'll never fit, uh, sit flush. And the last part here is the injectors. So right now I have stock LS1 injectors in there. Those are some tall boys as you can see. And there is a, a gap which you gotta buy spacers for right there my blurred out finger. And if you wanna run LS1 injectors, you sure can, but they're super long so you gotta get spacers. What I did is I ended up getting LS2 injectors that are shorter. I bought an LS2 fuel rail, which mates directly up. My LS1 fuel rail wouldn't do it for me. So LS2 fuel rail into LS2 injectors into the intake manifold. It's nice and happy. You don't need any spacers. The only reason why I am running this janky setup with no spacers and LS1 injectors is I wanted to start the motor before I bring it to the dyno. So motor runs. Cut to footage of it running. A couple more things here that you might want to think about is your mounting hardware here, the throttle cable, it's not ideal, it has a little bit of a bend there if you can see. Um, I'd like to straighten that out, some nitty gritty work that's, that's kind of the fun stuff at the end, you can just fab that in the shop. And then I also had to get, please excuse the jankness of this, so don't judge me, but my brake booster, that tube right there, although it fit the stock intake manifold, I had to get new tubing. So a lot longer, different locations, um, in the back or the where the vacuum hose goes into the back of the intake. Um, so that was easy fix. Oh, and your mass airflow sensor, what you can do is you got two ports. You gotta drill them out, whichever one you choose. So you can use the rear of the motor or the front. I chose the front. Just easy access, it's kinda tight back there. Got a little extension off Amazon. Bring it up there, plugs right in, and boom, there you go. But overall, as long as you know what fits and what doesn't and what you're going to do as a game plan, I mean, you make it simple, it works out, but it's a pain in the ass to figure out because not a lot of info is out there, to say the least. So, hope this helps somebody. 
Take care.